Ladies and gentlemen, Rich Homie Kwan intro. Now, as y'all know, Rich Homie Kwan sadly passed away recently. And his team is now dropping music. So we're going to check it out and see what is said in this song right here. Now, I'm pretty sure it, it recently came out that um, Rich Homie Kwan had OD'd. And that the ex-girlfriend and I think it was was it I think it was his brother, they were in the house not during the time of it exactly happening, but they were in they were in the house. You feel what I'm saying? And basically, they said that uh, situations like this happen all the time where he passes out or he's too high and has to be you know what I'm saying put on a couch and things of that nature. You know, but sadly. You know, we we know what happened, ended up happening to Rich Homie Kwan. So condolences to his family and things of that nature. Let's jump straight into this and see what is said on this song. I don't know what this song is gonna be about. You feel what I'm saying? I don't have a, I have a strong feeling it's gonna be like a sentimental, heartfelt song from uh, RHQ. So let's jump straight into this and see what he has to say. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, follow the Twitch link in the description if y'all are new. And let's go. You can. You could be on your own, Shadow. Junior, Junior. I ain't let nobody stop me, though. You feel me? I let nobody deteriorate my mind. I knew I was great before they knew I was great, nigga. Corn. Feel like I've been on my own my whole life. Been going through some shit, I might go down the whole pipe. When she died, it made me mad. Wow, I'm gonna crash. I'm a rich nigga. What the fuck I look like, man? G talks right there. I'm a rich nigga. If I got look like buying half, he's talking about some real shit already. And I'm not gonna lie, ladies and gentlemen. I'm pretty sure we all know when artists pass away, people tend to tune into them more. People tend to tend to you know support them even more. Things of that nature, even when they weren't here. Rich homie Kwan, I love Rich homie Kwan was always dropping fire music. Like when he went on that little run of going like other people's platforms, going on their streams. I was tuning in to what he had to say in his newer music. You feel what I'm saying? But even when he was here, like in his prime, I wasn't bumping Rich Homie Kwan crazy. Now, of course, we had the hits that are part of a lot of our childhoods and things of that nature. But I was never like, yo, I'm a Rich Homie Kwan fan. You feel what I'm saying? But I always knew Rich Homie Kwan made great music. Like, he always made good music. Like, we had the conversation about Boss Mandelio. Boss Mandelio. Is the nigga Spanish? We had the conversation about Boss Mandilo earlier in the stream. He's way bigger in the South, opposed to, say, like a New York or a Boston. Same thing goes for Rich Homie Kwan. Atlanta, uh, Memphis, Texas. Like, he's way bigger in these areas, opposed to, say, like a Wisconsin or a Wyoming and things of that nature. So, even at L.A. to a certain extent. So, you know, that's just how, that's just how, how that goes. Dirty for a minute, might need a bell. Send these niggas our followers, I might as well eat the pal. Had a conversation with God last night, he told me. Just keep going hard on these niggas and I'ma show you. God, my man, uh, they think I'm crazy. Cause I talk to him like three or four times daily. Yeah. Angel in my ear like it look harder than it seems. Talk to him so much, I got black scars on my knees. I'm emotional, I want my heart on my yeah, he's talking on this one. I'm sorry this is four minutes, but he's really talking. Pray to him so much I got black scars on my... Yeah, okay. I sleep. Can't bring see money back. It was so hard when I grieve. Then I watched his mama die a year later. God, please. Like, who gonna take care of them kids when he got yeah. more than me? Like, when Drake got shot at night, I feel like I couldn't even breathe. Oh, when my daddy took them ticks, I thought he was about to leave. Me got hit or two. I can't say much, but we got even. Now I'm asking God because they shot him out of reason. Should I crash out now? I'm thinking about my achievements. I wish this shit was fake. Like, wake me up. Am I dreaming? Heart still beating and blood still bleeding. My mom and that did everything they could just to feed me But damn, feel like I've been on my own my whole life Been going through some shit, I might go down the whole pipe When she died, it made me mad, boy, I'm gonna crash I'm a rich nigga, what the fuck I look like, man? The money been dirty for a minute, might oh, need a bath Send these niggas our followers, I might as well eat the pal Had a conversation with God last night, he told me Just keep going hard on these niggas and I'ma show you an early morning shooting at the Diamond Club in Nanuber. Deputies say there was an altercation between hip hop artist Rich Homie Kwan's entourage. If you ask me where it stopped, it was the moment that people started mixing that slitch energy. Talk you today goes to Rich Homie Kwan. On the dock right across the street from the Fountain Blue, he ran to a waiting getaway boat. 
that's crazy because I know the reason why Rich Homie Kwan fell off had to do a lot with Atlanta politics and things of that nature and, you know, a lot of stuff behind the scenes that we don't know about. So to hear what we just heard in that clip, I personally feel like, you know what I'm saying, 100% backs that statement. You feel me? Because Rich Homie Kwan was still dropping the fire music that he was dropping after he blow up, during his blow up, around the same time of the fuck ever. And he even evolved his sound and got better. Y'all hear what we're listening to right now. You feel what I'm saying? He was doing stuff like this, you know? But because of the behind the scenes and not having the people behind him and things that were going on with the, the zeitgeist of Rich Homie Kwan and that conversation eventually led to, you know, his decline in popularity. You feel me? Yeah. Let's see how much you use this. What y'all thought? Cause I know how it goes. I'm about to sit up in the house, just count money all day. Nah, nigga. It's time to get back outside, corn. You know what I'm saying? It's time to claim what's rightfully yours. Let's get it. Hey, had a few setbacks, but never set back. I felt like hard and when they crossed me, I just stepped back. Came from the bottom like the floor I slept back. Now they feel my impact, and I know they praying that I fall. I know these niggas want me to fall. I had a while before I crawl. But you know I'm still getting money though. Sitting back, reminiscing, boy, I had the time of my life. I ain't have it sweet, but you know I had to grind on my life. That's tough visuals after he said that. That's I don't know more fuck niggas That's around. Chain around my dog, neck, he won't stop barking. I don't need no scope on this bitch to hit my target. My booty was okay, but I had game was awesome. I'm trying to bang like Steve Austin. And I know everybody in life had a few setbacks, but never set back. I felt like hard and when they crossed me, I just stepped back. Came from the bottom like the floor I slept at. Now they feel my impact, and I know they praying that I fall. Tough tracks. Tough tracks right here. The first track is definitely my favorite track. I would rate that personally like a 7.8. And I know I do not give up 7.8s on this channel. That was a tough song right there. That was a tough pain track. I'm definitely going to go back to that one. As far as this song, I gave this a 7.4. You know what I'm saying? It was a calm track. Nothing too crazy. But that first track was definitely tough. I love what he was talking about. The beat selection was fire. I felt his pain. Let's see what they're talking about in these comments. Now, Rich Homie Kwan actually has dropped as of recent i'm looking at this video right here for song cry this was nine days ago you feel what i'm saying i'm gonna go on his channel after this after this song you feel me and see what else they're talking about man this ish got me at work crying real real tears kwan meant so much to the world he didn't even know how much people loved him that's a fact i've I seen uh duke dennis say the same thing like he impacted his life crazy back in 2013 when i was going through a lot i first heard about kwan i used to play his songs all the time while sleeping on my cousin's couch and attending army recruiting appointments it's crazy how the artist who kept me who kept me going is now gone kwan you're a legend in my eyes these long rides to memphis help shape where i am today healthy and successful when i graduated ait i had a walk through on repeat now in 2024 i'm set for life and you were part of that journey. That's a real comment. I ain't gonna lie. That's a real comment for sure, for sure. Shit hits different now that he's gone. He is so honest in his art. I pray this new project goes number one and his children can benefit from his legacy. Long live RHQ, a true pioneer in his own right. How do y'all feel about Rich Homie Kwan, chat? Like, what are y'all sentiments when it comes to Rich Homie Kwan and his... And Ali his and... Because he's about to drop an album. And I want to see where this is about to go. I'm not going to lie. I want to see where this is about to go. You feel what I'm saying? He dropped 10 days ago, and then he just dropped intro. You feel what I'm saying? This might be a crazy project. In terms of people tuning in, in terms of the quality of music that's being curated to really showcase to people like, yo, he was always tough. You feel me? Because I feel like a lot of people 
know what I'm saying? He fell off, and a lot of people started taking that for granted of how talented of an artist Rich Homie Kwan actually is. So I feel like there's definitely going to be a conversation for when this album drops. I want to see where this goes. Or people may not even care. That could also be a possibility, ladies and gentlemen. As y'all know, a lot of people's attention spans are completely shot and things of that nature. So we'll see where this goes. But more of the story is, like uh, like Star said in the chat, don't do drugs, y'all. Not going to lie. There's, there's, there's no reason to do drugs. I'm going to be completely honest with y'all. Y'all might be bored, but I'm trying to tell y'all right now. Stay off of drugs. You're only going to come with problems that literally don't need to be had. I'm not going to front. But let me know how you feel about the track down below in the comments. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. I'm going to continue streaming, but I'm going to catch y'all later, all right? Safety. Yes, sir. That album is going to go so crazy. Quan is a legend in his own right. That's a fact. That's a fact. By the way, chat, Mo is the same person when asked who Rich Homie Quan was. He could not name a song. So um, him saying that is actually very interesting, by the way. It's very interesting. From Mo and Mary himself. I just wanna I just wanna like throw that out, you know what I'm saying, into the into the you know what I'm saying? Just let that be known. Never heard of Quan till he died? Only the major hits? Okay, so you've heard the hits. Yeah, nah, not hearing the, not knowing which one Quan is fake crazy though. Like he got some he got some he got a lot of tracks. I mean even like the man when I woke through, you feel what I'm saying? He got a lot of tracks, especially with Thug. All the all the Thug tracks is hits. He got like he got like a bunch of solo songs. That's why he he's been making fire music. Y'all should tap into his discography for sure. 